To start using SiteOps, all you need is a location. If you have files such as DWGs, DGNs, shape files, point files, bring those in, let SiteOps create a model, and start designing from there. But a lot of times, all we have are parcel numbers, coordinates, or maybe just an intersection. In this case, we're going to Torrington Way in Charlotte, North Carolina, and look at a piece of property. Type that address in. Geolocate tool is going to find it. The project we're looking at is going to be on the northeast of that intersection. Make sure it's in my view. I can see the area. We can see the wooded area. This we're going to put a mixed use. Select location. It's going to put a box on the screen that is cyan. This box is a location. So if I do add data such as field shot data later, it will just drop it right into place. So let's get some topography. USGS or from outside the United States, SRTM. It's going to bring in that surface and create the contours for us automatically. Let's get some imagery. USGS or Esri. A lot of users like Esri because there's two levels of resolution. There's a low level up at a higher section such as we see here. But if we zoom in and give it just a second, it's going to update to some higher resolution imagery. So the project we're working on goes from the roads there to the south in the image up to the creek on the north side. A lot of municipalities in this day and time have started allowing engineers, architects, and planners to access GIS data. If you have access to that GIS data, you can just go under import file, go out and grab the data you're looking for. We're going to Mecklenburg County, North Carolina. We're going to go parcels. I'm going to click on that shape file. I'm going to say open and merge into existing. It's going to look at the area that I'm working for, so I don't have to worry about bringing in the whole county worth of information. I'm only going to bring in the area around my subject property. Let's go in and bring in the FEMA floodplain. For a project like this, that's going to make a big change in how we do the project. So we need to be able to locate that. Let's fast forward just a few minutes where we brought in swim buffers and utilities, turned our contours layer back on. So now I'm ready to start doing my project. Within site ops, you're not just looking at 2D information. This is a 3D model. So we can quickly come in and start identifying how we're going to start designing the project. So let's just look at the 3D viewer and we can start thinking where we might want to put the different components of this project. You can see a nice 3D model with the contours showing me where the valleys and crests are for this project. 